Don't touch that dial. Let the dog let himself out. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on to your seats. Whoa! It's time for the Lakeville Government Channel Kids and Government program. Kids and Government! Yeah! <laughs> Today's show, join Louie the dog as he takes a walk in Antlers Park and discovers something cool to help the environment on Walking the Dog with Louie the Dog. Um, Ask Mr. E, the world's greatest puppet detective, discovers who can be an election judge in Lakeville. Park of the Month finds Whitney the Elephant exploring Oak Shores Park. How'd they do that this month? Checks in with Mary Utter as she learns how Lakeville Street Department workers put together street signs and place them securely in the ground. And I'm Roger Mildustain, coming to you this month from Aronson Park. And now, here's the host of Kids in Government, R.R. the Raccoon! Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of Lakeville Kids in Government. I'm R.R. the Raccoon, your congenial host here on our program where we take a humorous and educational look at how government works. Hey, we're coming to you from beautiful Aronson Park today. And it's lovely, lovely everybody's out here and having a great time. Well, hey, our show is so action-packed today, we better get right to it before it might possibly blow up. <laughs> well, first up here, folks, we have a great segment with our canine reporter, Louie the Dog, with another edition of Walking the Dog dog with Louie the dog. So, walk it, you dog. Hi there, it's me, Louie. <laughs> I bet you're wondering why I'm crying hysterically. <laughs> well, the reason I'm crying hysterically is I got no one to play ball with me. I've been hanging around here and I've got no friends, no family, no other puppies to play ball with me. And it's just very, very sad. <laughs> hey, Louie. Hey, Anne, over here. You can join me in my drama of sadness, pain, and anguish. <laughs> you want to know I'm so sad and depressed? <laughs> yeah. Because I don't got no family, I got no puppies, and I came here to the park and I got my ball to play with and no one to play ball with me. <laughs> oh, Louie, that's so sad. But it you know is. what? What? I'll play with you if you come check something out with me. I want to show you something over here. Something cool here in the park that's yeah. new? Yeah, it's new. Let's do it. Which way do we go? This way. This come way. On. Okay, let's go. Okay, Anne, I'm so excited that you're going to play ball with me. What is the big exciting news that you want to tell me about? Well, I want to show you these beautiful new recycle and trash bins that we got in our parks. Wow, is this something new? Yeah, this is something new. We got these nice lids on it that tell us, you know, only to put cans in the holes and the dump bin to put the trash in there. So we'll keep the bees away and we'll keep it all dry and... Wow, so this is the first time in some Lakeville parks that we've actually had recycling? That's right. That's hard to believe we've been recycling for years in the community, haven't we? Yes, we have, but it's it's a harder deal for us to figure out, but we're, we're working on it and we think we might have a solution here. Oh, that's very good. So could, could you show me now, let's pretend, Anne, that that is a bag of something from a restaurant, which one would you put it in? The recycling one or the garbage? Oh, if you had just a paper bag with wrappings in it, you don't want to put it in the one with the hole. You no. want to put it in the drop-in bin. Oh, the one, if he pans below that, it says garbage on it, right? That's right, trash only. Oh, that's great. That's great for me, especially being a dog. I don't know how to read, so now that I see trash only, I know which one to put it that's in. That's right. <laughs> and this other one has a hole, so it's pretty easy to tell. All right, Ann, let's actually see you recycle something slowly slowly and here she goes ladies and gents can in the hole wow look at that you recycled <laughs> i did thank that you that was fantastic ann <laughs> oh this is really very good and a nice exciting news but um is that it now ann 
Well, if you promise to recycle all your items that you bring into the park, plastic cans, yeah. great. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, so let's can we, play. Can we play catch now? Let's do it. Here we go, catch the ball. All right, I'm gonna go this way, throw it. Yeah, all right, go long, Louie. Throw it. Good catch. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Ann. That was a great throw. Hey, folks, this is Louie the dog. we walking the dog with Louie the dog. And hey, 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 remember, when you're in area Lakeville parks, look for that recycling container. All right, Ann, go deep. I'm going to throw it to you. Here we go. Get it. Go get it. Run. Get it. Get it. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Bring it back. Lumpet here for this month's Kids Quick Tip. And this month, Grandma's going to be visiting government buildings and telling you what they're for. Well, our first building this month is Lakeville City Hall. Oh, and you may be asking, what happens inside a city hall? Well, several things. It's where the city council and mayor work to make the big decisions here about city government. And there's tons of other departments here from park and rec to engineering to communication to administration that help make the city run. Speaking of running, I'm gonna run out of here and get a sandwich. From the Lakeville Government Channel 16 studios in downtown Lakeville, this is Ask Mystery with, uh, 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 what's his name again? <laughs> oh yeah, cue music with Mystery. Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask Mystery. I'm Mr. E, the world's greatest puppet detective, and as in every episode of Ask Mr. E, this segment is written, <coughs> produced, directed, <coughs> starred, and strawberry whipped cream by me, Mr. Reap. That's a pretty good one, isn't it? <laughs> you like that one, don't you, producer? <laughs> yeah, he liked that one. Well, folks, I'm very excited today because after exhaustive research, I have discovered for sure what our segment is about today, and I'm going to read it. Would you bring it up here? Thank you. All right, today's segment is about who can put in an electrical junction box. <laughs> well, that's an easy one. What's that? You're kidding. That's not what it's about? Then what is our segment about? <laughs> who may be an election judge? I wasn't even close. And my eyeballs are all crooked. Unbelievable. You know what? Let's just go to today's letter. And today's letter comes from Fast Eddie Johnson. And Fast Eddie Johnson writes, Dear Mr. Reed, who may be an election judge? Well, Fast Eddie Johnson, it just so happens that I, Mr. Reed, have connections here in City Hall, and I can definitely get your question answered. Let's do it. Hit the eject button. I said hit the... Let's check it out, folks. I decided to give my good friend, City Clerk Shaw Freeges, a call. To my astonishment, she took my call. I explained my situation to her, and I asked if she could meet me, and to my surprise, she said, That'd be great. We set our meeting for the front of City Hall. Shaw promptly met me, and I went right to asking her my questions. All right, Shaw, who may be an election judge here in the city of Lakeville? Well, pretty much anyone who's at least 18 years old and a resident of the state of Minnesota. And what are some of those duties of the election judge? Well, election judges register voters, they set up the polling place, they uh, demonstrate to voters how to vote, they distribute ballots and other materials, operate the voting equipment, and determine the results <laughs> after the polls close. Cool, now can a rat be an election judge? Well. No, you can't, sorry. Uh, I'm very depressed, but I know that you will probably choose some very great candidates to be election judges here in the city of Lakeville. Well, we hope to. We hope to. We'd like people to apply if they're interested. And what are the dates these election judges are needed for? August 10th 
and November 2nd. So we got a long time. So if someone is interested in being an election judge, they can contact the city. As I finished my interview with Shaw Freges, I had the profound sense that I, Mr. Ree, now knew everything there was to know about being an election judge. Well, folks, that's it for another edition of Ask Mr. Ree. This is Mr. Ree, the world's greatest puppet detective, saying, we'll see you next time, folks, on Ask Mr. Ree. Thank you. Hey there, everyone. R. R. the Raccoon joining you here once again. Have you ever wondered how street signs are put together and placed into the ground? Well, if you are curious about this, then this next segment with Mary Utter should answer any and all of your questions. Take it away, you cow. <laughs> Hi there, everybody, and welcome to another edition of How'd They Do That? I'm Mary Otter, your bovine beauty, and today we're going to find out how they replace stop signs that have been run over by vehicles. Now, as you see behind me here, we have a temporary stop sign, and some of the beautiful city workers are going to come out and show us how they put a beautiful new stop sign to keep us all safe and secure here in Lakeville neighborhood. So let's find out. How they do that? This way, ladies! And here they are, right on time! Yeah! I'm now joined by Steve, who's in the streets department. How are you doing today, Steve? Good, man. Good. How are you? Well, well, I understand you're going to be replacing the street sign here. Why do you do this? This sign got hit earlier this winter from the winter roads being slick, and we ended up having to put a portable out. And then now we're going to put a new permanent, brand new street sign set up back in. Do we know how it got run over? Did a, a, a car run into it? Car must have slid up, came up too fast and couldn't stop, and they just happened to tip it over and break it off. Wow, they were very lucky they didn't run into the water hydrant or the uh, the the, uh, the lab post. There. Yes, they were. Yes, they just kind of in between both of them. Very good. Now, how long is it going to take you to change out this stop sign? It'll take us probably about 25 minutes. So. So we better get to work then, huh? Yes, we better. All right, let's do it. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Hey, how about just for fun, we put a no tollway zone up? <laughs> do we do that? Yeah, we could. Well, we get in trouble. We'd be, we'd be in trouble. Yeah, better not do that. Well, Steve, it looks like you got your tools and all your equipment ready to go. Yep. Is there anything I need before you get started here? I'm going to give you some of these. It might get kind of loud. You might want to put those in your ears. Well, they look like mints. What do I want to put mints in my ear for? They're not mints. Those are earplugs to oh. protect your ears from the noise. Oh, looks like you got some there. Yes, I do. Oh, very good. Can I try one? No, not today. Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh, plasticky. I think you're right, they go in my ears, so I'll put them in my ears. You're going to use that jackhammer, is that why we got to put those in yes, there? Yes, we are. We're going to use that. Oh, Steve, that looks like a lot of fun. Do you think I could give it a try? Sure, give it a try. <laughs> Mary, you should probably just stick to giving milk. Oh, Steve, that's a very interesting piece. What is that for? That's called the Omni. That that is, it goes into the ground, Mary, and it makes it so that the pole stay, the sign post will stay stable in the wind and then through the winter months. Now, how long was that other post that you put in there? That had to have been about six, eight feet, wasn't it? Yep, it was in the ground about four feet. So this thing, once the sign gets up there, it's not going no place. Nope, it shouldn't be, it won't go nowhere. It'll be really nice and stable and sturdy. Very good, well, let's see how this one works. Okay, Steve, you got that kind of post thing into the ground. Yep. What are you doing here? Now we're going to notch, knock out the holes for our street blade names we're going to put up here. Oh, so you're going to put the street names and the stop sign on this thing? Yes, I am. Oh, you guys are so efficient. Let's see how this works. All right. Oh! 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 
guess I should have kept my, my pieces of candy in my ears. Oh! They've got the street sign attached and the stop sign, and now they're gonna post it, so let's watch! Woo -hoo. Well, folks, we've seen them take out the old stop sign and replace it with this bright new stop sign and lovely street sign. So now, folks out there, you know how they do that. So until next time, this is Mayor Otta saying, we'll see you next time on How They Do That, and don't tell anyone, but I'm gonna eat my mints now. Ah. <laughs> Was choking on a mint. Kids, don't eat the mint without your pants permission. See you next time. Lumpet here for another kids quick tip. Right now I'm in front of the city's water treatment facility. <gasps> you ask me, oh, what? Uh, oh. <laughs> I swallowed a bug. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. Keep rolling. <sighs> I swallowed a bug, but I'll be all right. <sighs> oh. Bugs in your diet aren't too bad occasionally. Anyway, what is a water treatment facility, you ask? Oh, <gasps> well, I'll tell you. The water treatment facility treats your water kindly. That's right, it separates out the bad stuff that's in the ground like sand and gravel and puts some chemicals in it like fluoride to help strengthen your teeth. So when you take a good drink of the Lakeville water, you go, ah, because it's delicious fresh tasting water. And that's what's happening here at the Lakeville water treatment facility. Wanna get my 10 bucks now for that promo? Thank you. It's me, um, Wendy the Elephant, and I'm here for this month's uh, Park of the Month. And uh, this month, the, uh, the park that we're touring is um, Oak Shores Park. And oh, oh look, my, my propeller. <laughs> my propeller's twirling on top of my head. Oh, oh there it stopped, it's slowing down. Well, well, let's get on and take a look at the rest of the park. Oh, there it goes again. I'm taking off. That was good, wasn't it? I was like, I was actually flying. Ah, ah, I'm coming to a landing. Ah, ah, my propeller's still, still flying, so I may take off at any moment. Well, Oak Shores Park is located off County Road 46, very close to Interstate 35. And Oak Shores Park is a neighborhood park watch park. Taking off. Where's the oh! The park has lovely open spaces, a ball field, and trees. And the park also has some, some lovely swing sets. It's got a pirate ship and, and other things for the kids to play on here in the sand. Here we go! Whoa! And Oak Shores Park has lots and lots of trails. And, oh, wait a minute. There's a trail to my right and a trail to my left. Oh, get Zooks. Which way do I go? Oh, no. I'll never be able to decide. I'll just wait here and watch. Maybe one of them will move. One of the beautiful things about Oak Shores Park it's all of its wildlife. Look at the ducks and the geese. Oh, come here, guys. Come here. Hey. Oh, they're very beautiful. But why is that stick sticking up in the middle of the, the pond? Oh. Come here. Would you like a peanut? 
And if you get tired hiking on the trails, there's several benches so you can rest your hooves. Yeah, it's not easy being a pachyderm princess and weighing 20 tons. Yeah, you try it sometime. See if you like it. I don't know why I have an attitude all of a sudden. At Oak Shores Park, you can play organized games like basketball or tennis. Or both, but I'm all confused. I'm not, not quite sure if you can play both at the same time. Uh, Mr. Producer, is that possible? Oh, dear, my ear is blocking me <laughs> from being seen on camera. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, right. But personally, I, I think I'd prefer to play, play tennis myself. <laughs> oh, look at my propellers. Oh! 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 Well, folks, thank you all ever so much for joining me here today at Oak Shores Park. It's very beautiful. As you can see, all of the, the, the trees are sprouting and the water is beautiful. So if you have any questions about parks here in the city of Lakeville, you can call 952-985-4600, and you can find out more information about beautiful parks like you see behind me. So until next time, this is Wendy the Elephant, and oh, look at my propellers going again. Here we go. Pop. Oh, it stopped. Oh, rats. So, all right, I landed on my propeller. Do you like it when puppets mess up their lines? Do you like it when puppets don't know what they're talking about? Well then, hey folks, here's the segment for you, because it's time for another edition of Kids in Government Bloopers. everybody and welcome to another edition of How'd They Do That? I'm Mary out of your bovine beauty. This is where the treatment process of taking good sweet care of your water takes place so that when you empty your, empty your faucet, <laughs> to get a nice cool drink of water or take a shower, the water is beautiful, wonderful, silky smooth. And if it's not, buy Culligan water. Hi there, everybody. Uh, my name is. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Gotta do it again. Detective Maine. As in every episode of Ask Mr. E, this segment is written, produced, directed, starred, and strawberry rhubarb whipped cream by me, <laughs> Mr. E. <laughs> I'll have to try it again. but here for our final Kids Quick Tip here on Kids in Government. Well, I am now in front of a fire station, kiddies. That's right, a fire station. Now, a fire station houses the fire trucks that come to your house if you should ever have a fire. Something to remember, though, firefighters do not live here in the fire station in Lakeville. They are volunteers and respond as needed. <laughs> My ears just flopped. Well, folks, that's it for another edition of Lakeville Kids in Government. But before we go, we must check out this month's historic point. And joining me this month for this month's historic point is my great pal, Hank the Hog. How you doing, Hank? Hi, you. All right, Hank the Hog, give us this month's historic point. Ooh, that was a very great point. Way to go, Hank. Well, folks, like I said, that's it for this edition of Lakeville Kids in Government. If you have questions on any of the information we've covered, please feel free to give us a call. Our studio line is 952-985-4418. And you can watch our show and all the programs here on Channel 16 at our website at www.lakevillemn.gov. Hey, that's it for this edition, so we'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. I'm hitting the swings.
I just can't help myself. But every can or bottle you recycle can make a difference. Make a difference in your community. Recycle in area parks.